Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where I will be going through all of my beauty trash, aka my empty skincare, makeup, hair care items. I'm super excited for this because I have a ton of things to go through. I do want to say really quickly that more often than not, I do return things if I don't like them. I'm not in like a financial position not to. So a lot of these things I do really, really love, but I am going to call out which items are my holy grails, which items I'll always be repurchasing, which items I won't be repurchasing, so on and so forth. And the things that are my holy grail products, I will be putting links to in the description box. We have a ton of stuff to go through. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. All right, for my first item, I am starting out strong. I have four of them. This is the Youth to the People Adaptogen Deep Moisture Cream. Yes, I am repurchasing this. Yes, this is my holy grail. I will always repurchase this. If you know me, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know about this. This is literally my holy grail, not only moisturizer, but skincare item. Like if I was on a deserted island and I only had to bring one skincare, maybe two, because I would have to bring SPF, but I'm obsessed with these. I will always be repurchasing them. I use them as my daytime moisturizer in the winter and my nighttime moisturizer in the summer. And I am just obsessed with these. They are incredible. They're incredible if your skin is dry, dehydrated, red, stressed out, anything like that, you need these. These are incredible. Next up, I also have doubles. This is the Nutripathica Calendula Essential Hydrating Cream. I really love these for the winter. I will definitely be repurchasing this. I have not yet. I'm gonna repurchase it more when we're like in the fall because this is a very, very heavy cream. It's super duper moisturizing. I use this as my nighttime cream in the winter. So yes, definitely repurchasing these, but I'm definitely gonna wait until the weather gets colder. Okay, so there's definitely like a theme going on. I'm gonna go through all of the things that I have multiples of first. Next up, I have the Garnier Skincare Micellar Cleansing Water. This is the bigger size, this is the smaller size. I love this, always will be repurchasing this. I've tried a lot of micellar, micellar, is it micellar? I don't know. I've used a ton of micellar waters and I either like this or the Bioderma one, but I feel like this is honestly the same thing. The Bioderma one is a little bit more expensive. So yeah, this I will continue to repurchase. I've already repurchased two of them. I get them in like a two pack on Amazon or from CVS, but this I love, it's just a staple in my routine. All right, another double. This is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This is a holy grail product for me for probably the last five or six years whenever I discover this. This is incredible. This is awesome if you have dry skin. I just love this stuff. I've already repurchased it. I will continue to repurchase it always. And yeah, I just love these. All right, I think this is the last double I have, but this is the Ole Henriksen Glow 2 Dark Spot Toner. Again, a holy grail. I've already repurchased this. They actually came out with like a jumbo size of it, which I got my hands on and I have this regular size and I have a mini travel size because I am just obsessed with this stuff. There is some tea with this product. I will say that it is annoying to me that this has fragrance and that the fragrance in it is so high on the ingredient list. So I do wish that they made a fragrance free version. Maybe they will come out with it. I don't know, but I absolutely love this stuff. This is just incredible for any type of dark spots, acne scars, anything like that. I have tried so many products to lighten my acne scars and this is really the only product that helps. So yeah, this is a total holy grail and I'm obsessed with this. My next product is also from Ole Henriksen. This is their Banana Bright Eye Creme, and I love this stuff. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably know this is my holy grail daytime eye cream. I really love it. It just instantly brightens the under eye, it really hydrates the under eye, and it really sits well under makeup, like underneath concealer. It doesn't move the concealer or anything like that. So this is a holy grail, already repurchased it. Next up, I have two hyaluronic acid serums. The first one is the Image Skincare Ageless Total Pure Hyaluronic Filler. And the other one is the Instant Natural Hyaluronic Acid Serum 85%. So if you follow me on Instagram, I was speaking about this the other day and I was saying that I replaced my $70 Hyaluronic Acid Serum with a $15 one. So this is the one I replaced. Again, this is the one from Image Skincare. This retails for about $68 or $70, and I used this for probably three years. I found out about it through my dermatologist, and I absolutely loved this serum. But when I was done with this, I was like, you know what? I need to find something less expensive. I just can't spend $70 every few months on this. So I don't know how, 
but I stumbled upon this. So what I like about the Image Skincare one is that it's 100% hyaluronic acid and it has six different types of hyaluronic acid in it. So when I saw other hyaluronic acid serums that are super popular on the market, like the Ordinary one, that one only has 2%, and I was like, I don't know, my skin is used to having a lot of hyaluronic acid. I don't know how my skin is gonna react or benefit from something that's only 2% hyaluronic acid. So I found this one. This is, again, the Intinatural Hyaluronic Acid Serum 85%. This I'm obsessed with. It has now become my holy grail. I actually just repurchased another one of this, so I will keep repurchasing this. This, I'm not gonna keep repurchasing it. I think that this serum is just as good, if not better, than this $70 one. So if you're looking for a great hyaluronic acid serum, I definitely recommend this one. Next up, I have two toners and an essence. I'll start with the essence. This is the Blith Vital Treatment 5 Energy Roots for vitalizing and hydrating. And I've been using this essence probably for about the last two years, and this is my third bottle of it. And I don't know, I just felt like once I finished this third bottle, it didn't, it wasn't really doing enough for me or I didn't feel like I was seeing the results that I saw with the other bottle. So this I'm not gonna be repurchasing. I purchased the Tatcha Essence, which is like $95. And I actually purchased a mini size of it and I'm still not done with it. So definitely that mini size is lasting me a long time. I think I'll probably repurchase that one. But yeah, this one, it's okay. I just felt like it didn't do enough. It wasn't hydrating or plumping enough for me to repurchase it. And then we have the two toners. I'll start with this one. This is the Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. This is a mini size. I already purchased it in the full size. I absolutely love this stuff. I use this in the morning and then every other night. So at night, I switch between this and the Ole Henriksen Toner, depending on like if I'm self tanning or something like that, because since the Ole Henriksen Toner is an AHA, I don't wanna be exfoliating my skin and then putting on a self tanner. That just doesn't make sense. But this I absolutely love. And then we have the Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner. This I absolutely love as well, and I would repurchase this, but the reason I have not repurchased this is that this has Arbutin in it, and I have perioral dermatitis, and one of the ingredients my dermatologist told me to stay away from was Arbutin or hydro Hydrococcin. The thing that brightens your skin, I don't exactly know how to pronounce it, but Arbutin is a form of it, so I don't know how much Arbutin this has, this doesn't like have the percentage of it, but I absolutely love this. I highly, highly recommend this. I probably will repurchase this in the future once my perioral dermatitis kind of calms down a bit. Okay, so I have one more skincare product to talk about and then I will move on. But this is the Tatcha, the Dewy Skin Cream. I absolutely love this. I repurchased this, but I actually repurchased it in a mini size because I like this better for the winter, but I do like the Adaptogen Cream more. But this, I kind of like better more when I wear makeup. So I did repurchase it, but I did repurchase just the mini side. But this, I absolutely love as well. All right, I have two body products and a hair care product, and then I promise I will move on to the makeup. So first up for hair, this is the Verb Ghost Oil. Guys, this is a holy grail. I have been using this, no exaggeration, for at least seven or eight years. I am obsessed with this. This is the best hair oil on the market. You need this, you need this in your life. It is literally called ghost oil because once you put it in your hair, it is undetectable. It literally is just incredible. It's super duper hydrating if your hair gets like frizzy or anything like that, or if you wanna use this before heat styling. It's just, it's amazing, you need this. I don't really know what else to say about this, but this is just my favorite. I have already repurchased two backups of this, and yeah, I just love this. And next up for body products, I have two body washes. The first one is the Method Body Cucumber Seaweed Green Tea Deep Detox Body Wash, and the other one is the Soap & Glowy Clean Up Colada. Straight up, this is my favorite. This has become a holy grail. I already repurchased two of these. This is the most incredible scent in the entire world. It's a coconut scent, but with like a fruity 
mixture in it. I don't really know how to explain it. This is incredible. This is alright too, but I'm just obsessed with this, so I'm going to be repurchasing this. Not this, but this I do like as well, and this is also more easily accessible. Like, I can buy this at CVS or any drugstore, whereas this is only Target and Ulta, but, you know, I like to get those Ulta points. So, yeah, this is definitely my holy grail out of the two. All right, now let's get into the fun stuff, all the makeup I have. I don't have a ton of makeup because you guys know I'm like a makeup hoarder. But that being said, um, I'm going to start with the powder. This is the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. I actually really like this powder. I think it's awesome if you have combination skin because it's not super drying or cakey looking on dry parts of your face, but it also really mattifies the areas that you need mattify where you're more oily. So I do really like this, but I'm not going to be repurchasing this just because I have my Hourglass powder that I love. I have my Ilia powder that I love. I have my e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder that I love, so I really just don't need another loose setting powder, but I do really like this. Next up, I have a powder that I have already repurchased. This is the Jouer Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder, and I just love this stuff. This is probably one of my favorite pressed powders. It is awesome for setting all over the face. It doesn't make you look dry or cakey or anything like that. It's nice and compact, so you can put it in your purse, and yeah, I just love this. Again, like I said, I've already repurchased this. Next up, I have a bronzer. This is the Hourglass ambient radiant bronze light this is like done done like you can see that pan there this i absolutely love i've already repurchased it i repurchased it again in the mini size because this mini size literally lasted me like a year and a half so i didn't really feel like i needed the bigger size you know what i mean but this is totally a holy grail i'm obsessed with this and like i said i've already repurchased it next up i have a primer this is the bobby brown vitamin enriched face base and this is like my holy grail primer i absolutely love this stuff i probably use this almost every single day in the summer i also use this as my daytime moisturizer and although it is pretty pricey i usually can get it on sale um i got this when macy's did like a two for one deal i think they were selling two of these for like 65 dollars and bobby brown does it too they have like one day a year where this goes on sale and they'll sell it for two for one so i always pick it up and i just i just love this stuff it's awesome it's a great moisturizer it's a great primer and what i love about it is that it doesn't change the finish of your skin if that makes sense it's a very natural looking moisturizer like it's not going to leave you dewy it's not going to mattify you it just hydrates everything super duper well but leaves like a natural finish if that makes sense so yeah this i absolutely love next up i have two mascaras the first one is Lancome Monteer Big, and the other one is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. This, I will not be repurchasing this. This must be like really old because I have not used Monteer Big ever since I found this, and that was a while ago, so I don't even know what this is doing in here, but definitely pass on this. Do not spend your money on this. You do not need to spend $25 on a mascara because the CoverGirl Exhibitionist is literally a dupe. It's totally the same thing, but it's way better, and it's like seven or eight bucks. I love this stuff. I've already purchased it. I already probably have like two backups of this, but this in the Essence Lash Princess Sculpted Volume are my two Holy Grail mascaras. But yeah, this I absolutely love. All right, I have one last product. This is the Joseph Colors Lip Gloss in the shade on repeat. Will I repurchase this? Of course. This is my Holy Grail lip gloss. This has been a Holy Grail product for me probably for the last two to two and a half years this color specifically i love this color used to be my holy grail color um but i just purchased two more colors from them i purchased almond butter and don't be chai from when they had their 40 percent off sale like two or three weeks ago and i just got them in the mail a few days ago and they have now become my holy grail colors but overall this is my holy grail lip gloss i do have a backup of on repeat of this specific color but yeah this will always be a repurchase because I just love this formula. All right, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I know I kind of sped through everything. I had so much to go through, so I kind of went through things quickly. But as always, if you have questions on any products, please let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.